Good morning, I'm Amy Lynn. Millions of Americans are living with type 2 diabetes and the daily struggle is a tough one. And that's why I'm happy to welcome back National Diabetes Reversal Coach, speaker and author of The Virgin Diabetic, Denise Panzer. Good morning. Good morning. I am learning so much with you already and I am so excited that we get to share this information. We are talking this morning about checking your glucose and knowing how accurate it actually is. So let's talk about why it's important to make sure your glucose is accurate. So most folks will check with a meter and it's real important that if especially you're insulin dependent or you're on glucose lowering medication, you could be hum become hypoglycemic. So that means your levels are too low. Uh -huh. That can be dangerous. So you need to know that you have to make certain changes. You know, I have patients that will tell me they're told to check glucose in the middle of the night when typically it can drop low. They know they don't feel well, but they get very confused because they check their glucose with their meter and it says they're okay, they're not hypoglycemic, but they don't realize the meter could be wrong and it's stopping them from taking the appropriate action. Okay, so, but the meters, I mean, don't they have something that controls that, a solution that controls their accuracy? You know, they do, but that solution that you use to check the meter and that strip, it's in a, a very large range. So it could be anywhere from 10, 12, 15 points away from what your actual reading might really be. Okay, so now we gotta get to what you need to do so that you can actually have an accurate reading. So it's very simple. Every time you go to get your blood drawn for your fasting glucose, bring your meter with you. Okay. Have it when you're sitting in the draw chair. Let them draw all the tubes they need. And then when they're done, you check your fasting glucose with your meter. When you get your lab result, compare those two results. And you'll know if your meter reads higher or lower than your actual blood tells you. So, I mean, that's a very easy way. So whatever the difference is, you know that's how your meter is reading so you can adjust your results accordingly to know that you're getting an accurate reading and you're being safe with your insulin and with your health, basically. That's exactly it. You do that every time you go for a blood draw, you'll be spot on. That is such great advice. Now, Denise, where can we go to find more information on you? Well, it's very easy. You can go to my website at reversemydiabetes.net or call me direct. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. Thank you. You can find out more by logging onto our website as well, fox4morningblend.com.